guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another review on the channel, boys. The second channel content has been flying uh, the last couple of days. It has been nuts how much we have been able to upload. And uh, a big thanks to you guys for supporting that, keeping me motivated. And also a big thank you uh, to one of my mods, Rami Ad King. We're helping out with a couple of the videos. He's been helping us out with some of the editing because I've had so many videos and streams to be doing at the moment. Um, so very thankful for that. Um, so we're trying out Marcus Rashford today, a very popular player amongst uh, football fans and FIFA. He's also a FIFA player, which means that he's good in FIFA always and he's popular. Um, this car looks to be sick. He's got five star, five star. So on paper, it looks great. Um, high, high work rates and six foot one. So that's what I'm a little worried about. A little tall. Uh, and a little questionable work rates. For example, Sun has been a card in the past that some FIFAs, he's just not great because he has high high. Some FIFAs, he gets away with it, right? Obviously, the player of the month FIFA, whatever that was, he got away with it. But, you know, that's the big question mark is, is it going to affect the way he plays in game? Is he going to be dropping back and defending and, and doing things like that? But as you can see, seven goals scored, guys, in four games and also an assist. Um, 95 pace, 88 shooting, 80 passing. 89 dribbling and 83 physical. Uh, we used the engine chemistry style on Rashford, guys. Uh, and we started off with the sniper. So I ended up changing him to the engine halfway through the review. And you will notice that things got a lot better with him halfway through the review. So it could have been the chemistry style. Uh, Traits-wise, he has power free kick trait, uh, team player trait, and flare trait. I don't know what the team player trait really means. So I couldn't tell you guys right now what that's going to do for this card. He's very expensive. He's 1.59 million coins, which is like crazy for a price. But he's a Prem Striker. And I think we have to really compare him to Richarlison's Shapeshifter because that card was phenomenal. Um, so we have to compare him to that um, when we're playing with him. So he's already got great acceleration, great sprint speed. If you don't want to boost that, you don't have to. You might want to boost the acceleration, hence the engine we've given him. But we did start off with a sniper. Uh, obviously, with the engine, guys, we don't get the finishing boost. Uh, his finishing is only 86. So, again, that's pretty low for 88 shooting. If you want to boost the finishing, you could. A hunter doesn't look like a bad option because you get the acceleration maxed out. And the finishing will go up plus 5. But you could also look at a marksman, a deadeye, or a sniper. It really depends on what you want to do. He does have great shot power, which is a good sign. Smashing the net, for example. Uh, say Maximin had 97 shot power, and the guy broke the net every time he shot. So... That's a positive. 84 long shots, um, which is decent. He's got okay passing stats, nothing too special. Uh, he's got phenomenal agility. Balance at 80 is important. It's it, Whether you guys think I'm crazy or not, the difference between 80 balance and 79 is very big. Uh, ball control at 88, dribbling at 91, composure at 83, jumping at 77, stamina at 93, and 80 strength and 78 aggression. So... The formation that we're going to be playing today, guys, is a 3-5-2. He's at striker the whole time. And because he is 5-star, five 5-star, five uh, you can play him at left or right striker. I would recommend him up top, though. Um, you know, I think that's important. He has the stock to have really high strength. So I think you're going to want to utilize that. We played him as a get-in-behind striker. Um, so that's what you guys are going to be watching today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the big gameplay today, man. We got gameplay highlights from Weekend League. Um, so enjoy that, and then we'll, we'll recap at the end how he was. We are in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. He has the man, the myth, the legend, Yashin the Hat. Uh oh. Comes from the wingers, it will stay high and wide. Very narrow. Rashford, Rashford feels very clunky early on. Rashford. Outrageously skillful. Great pass from uh, Havertz. Can Rashford finish? No. Into the bleachers. On the on the five star five star. Advantage in operation. What a bad touch from Rashford, man. But Havertz and Rashford so far have been quite horrendous for me, dude. Haven't enjoyed them at all. Awful touches, feeling way too clunky. Nice, Mbappu. Unlucky, man. Good try. 0-0, zero, zero, full time. Oh, my God. All righty, there we go. 1-0 up. Holy moly, Rashford is clunky. He has plenty of support. Rashford. Nice. The dribbling. Penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Fuck's sake, man. Happy to be done with that game because overall it was just a bad game. Oh. Screen PK. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Nice pass from Cancelo. That should be a goal. Nice finish from Rashford. Los Tecos. A lot of baby icons in here. Nakata! In two minutes has already done more than Rashford and Havertz combined in two damn games. It's the right decision. Got his foot in to cut out the pass. Rashford. Lovely. Rage quit already. There we go. <clears throat> and Nakata fights for the badge, Chad. That's what I'm seeing. Nakata fights for the damn badge. Thoughts on Rashford? Uh, not worth the price so far. Oh, big touch. That's the strength there. That's a nice cut in. Nice play. Very nice goal. Nice finish, Rashford. There you go, buddy. Ooh, wow. All right, this guy's pretty good. Lovely. Havertz picks up a goal contribution, boys. What is going on on the screen? For like 100 hours a month. What is going on? What is happening here? Nakata! Play for the badge! Nice pass. Rashford doing the business. And showing us that he is here. And he just needed a couple games to get the club loyalty. Nice play. Nice goal. Nice goal. Nice goal. Nakata's the warrior, dude. What are you guys talking about? Nakata's great. Great strength from Rashford there. Nice pass from Nakata. We get it to go. Kick off right back. Nakata, the true warrior. Kicking Havertz right out this team. Rashford has four goals this game. The dude's fucking going off. They try to probably try to get one before the break, though. Let's go. What a fate. Well, that was, I mean, it's kickoff, but it's a great finish. Great pass from Havertz. Nice first touch, Rashford. Come on, Rashford. Hold the ball up, my dude. You six foot lard. So guys, for the price, I am going to say I do not think Rashford is worth it. Now, Rashford was good. Um, he really came along within the video where I, I kind of felt like I started to know how to use him and I, and I learned his play style better. What I will tell you is that I felt like Retrialization Shapeshifter was better. Um, I don't know if he is worth the price. Yes, he is five star, five star, but some of the positioning was questionable. And again, some of the first touches were questionable with the cards. Some of them were very clunky. And, you know, you could say it was the gameplay, but I just think, I, I thought this card was good, right? And, and I'm not saying that he's a bad player because he is good in this game and this card is good. But guys, we have to keep it honest and real. When we're going to talk 1.6 million coins, that's a lot of coins, man. A lot of people can't even afford this card. So I have to try to help you guys and, and guide you guys towards the players that are going to be worth it and not worth it, right? I do feel like there are players that are really comparable um, to this card for the price or even lesser of the price and that's why I'm going to recommend against him I'm quite certain that uh, Rashford is going to drop down in price as we go this week I'm quite certain of it um, 
I, I think it will happen. I think he will continue to drop down. And I think this card could be worth that 1 million coin price tag. But I just feel like we're paying so many coins at this point for this player. Um, that I just don't know. I don't know if it's... Uh, I don't know if it's worth it at this price. So yeah. I mean, I'm going to say I would pass at this current price. He was good. He did not uh, overwhelm or surprise me. I was not trying this card out and was like, holy crap, this card is better than Mbappe or, you know, Mbappe or Richarlison because I feel like those two were still better than this type of player. We got a lot of game plan, so we're really able to feel like, did we like him or not like him? And I liked him, but I just didn't love him. So that's the review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.